America's latest conversation about crime, punishment, rape, and privilege centers on Boulder, where a former CU student this week escaped prison time after raping a helpless woman. He got probation instead. The judge's decision is creating national headlines, and it's causing Colorado's attorney general to take the rare step of criticizing sentences like these in an interview here on Next. First, though, the backstory on this case. Austin Wilkerson is going to spend nights in jail for the next two years. During the day, he can go to school, go to work, go about his life. He'll also be on probation for at least 20 years. Probation and work release for rape. Two years ago, he promised to take a drunk college freshman back to her place and instead took her to his home and sexually assaulted her as she slept. The judge chose probation rather than what's known as an indeterminate sentence, four years to life. Corrections officials would be the ones deciding exactly when Wilkerson would have been released. Attorney General Cynthia Kaufman tells me that probation sentences like these send a terrible message. I have a genuine concern for what seems to be now a pattern in sentencing and sex assault cases where the viewpoint and the impact on the perpetrator seems to be taking precedence over what has happened to the victim. What is the message that's sent by this sentence? We're saying that that perpetrator's future and life has more value to our society than that of the victim. And I think that is wrong. Do you think that indeterminate sentencing for sexual assault might have been the issue here if the judge thought that the perpetrator deserved some prison time, but he wasn't willing to risk a decades-long sentence? It's the judge's job to, to read the law and impose the sentence based on what the law says. And then it goes into the hands of the correctional system and the experts there who deal with sex offenders, who deal with rehabilitation, and can make those calls. That's the tough job of donning that black robe and making that decision um, is knowing that you are going to impact someone's life in doing justice, but they made a choice when they committed a crime. Our extended discussion with Attorney General Kaufman is up on the next Facebook page. The judge in this case, Boulder District Judge Patrick Butler, declined to talk with us. He cited the state code, which directs judges not to speak about cases.